Yeah, hello everybody. Driven by Moss 16.0 is out and it brings support for gamepads like that Xbox controller here. So uh, if you have any of these devices lying around, you can have lots of fun with them. I connected it here with a USB cable, but it works also with the wireless model. So you can walk around or jump around on stage and do funny things with that. What can you do and how does it work? So if you go now here to your settings, you can add now a new controller which I already did but let's show you that from the beginning you can go to add controller and there in a generic section you find now the gamepad and you can add this gamepad and sadly we still have to use a fake MIDI input so that we can generate MIDI notes into Bitwig. Best thing is here to have a kind of virtual MIDI cable installed on your computer and use that. So you can use any of the MIDI inputs but you shouldn't be used by anything else. Then you get a list of your game pad controllers which are connected. If it's not in there or you just connected it, you can click the refresh button and then it should be showing up here in this list as well. You can connect it and then you will see the buttons and so the continuous control. So like here, like these ones or also that one is a continuous control. They will show up here under the name Axis in that area as well. If you add this gamepad extension, you will already get a pre-configuration here with some meaningful settings, which I will explain in a second. But there is plenty to choose from, so you can send all the different nodes. You can set CC commands, and there are also additional like pitch bend or note repeat movement here. And if you you missing something or want to have something else just feel free to tell me down in the comment section on this video what I did is here I am using these four to sending some MIDI notes so here we have the bass drum snare and the hi-hat and if we go in here you will see I have here a drum machine loaded and it will just trigger here the first four sounds in this setup but you can also go here to different tracks so I put you on a cursor track to move down in the track and select the next track or that one and you can also move here with that cursor here in the different clips and there are further commands for example you could enable here the metronome start playback on that one and you can also start the recording of a clip here and there is also a note repeat on the A button really funky already and we could oh I created a new one so you need to be careful a bit with that one and let's go back to that one and I think I put play on that button as well so yes that's also working and we go to the next track and we say we want to play a bass but uh, this bass uh, sounds pretty boring so what we need to do is can sadly not map the MIDI CC directly because due to the way how MIDI is getting into Bitwig, but what you can do is use MIDI CC here as a modulation. So we have here three ones. We have one, 71. Let's check back here in the settings. So we have here configured CC1 modulation and we have here the two sound modifications, 71 and 74. And we have pitch band, which works out of the box. So let's check out pitch band. You can do this already. So let's make a here modulation work. So you need to add here the MIDI CC1 and we can say we want to add an LFO for that to modulate a bit the pitch. So we need to modulate the pitch here of the sound pitch and maybe speed that up a bit. Uh, let's listen. something like this and we want to set the amount to zero so it's off again and this we want to control here with our MIDI modulator so now it's like this okay so first one we get going so next one should be again our see you can also learn this if you go here 
uh, into learning. So we can say we want to learn this. So we have now here the CC74, and this we want to use. Let's turn down the filter first a bit, and then we say we want to modulate the filter with that. And with the next one, another one, we want to have, no, let's stop that first. So let's go here again. Let's go to 71. And now we have it. And map that here to the resonance, but maybe let's put the resonance down, map it, and now let's crank it up. So now we should hear that. Now it works. Okay, it's working. And we can combine this. Okay, so let's try here with uh, some recording here. Okay, so we got this going as well. We can turn off also the metronome. And stop it again with the controller. And what you can also do is here to play chords, for example, you can transpose these notes down, also change the notes because you only have here the four, but you could reassign this to different notes and enable another one. So you can play now the chord here and you could also say we want to record that. So, already pretty handy. I showed you already here on the drum. You could use the note repeat. And you can also assign this, for example, if you want to change the note repeat. So, let's say we want to have that here. So, note repeat the period. You can crank that up, for example. Okay, so you can also do stuff like this with this funny little controller. And I'm very interested how you will like this. If you can use it and if you're missing stuff with that, I'm open for suggestions down in the comments. And until next time, make some funky music.